All right. So there are different ways that how suppliers can give incentives to their customers so they can maximize their sales. So when we talk about incentives from suppliers or by suppliers, so there are basically three types, allowances, rebates or subsidy and the discounts. So there are basically three types. First of all, allowances. What are allowances? Allowances usually are that uh, suppliers offer to their customers for bulk purchase. So they will tell their customers that in case if you are going to buy more than some specific quantity, so we will give you additional trade discounts on this amount just to motivate the bulk purchases. These are what we call allowances. Rebates or subsidy basically, uh, sometimes it happens that supplier can tell to the customer that if you buy some specific number of goods, so we will decrease the price per unit of the product. For example, for first 100 units, uh, supplier can tell I will charge $5 per unit then 100 plus units I will charge for example $3.5 per unit and so on. So they can provide such kind of threshold for rebates or subsidy. Then ultimately discounts, there are two types of discounts, trade discount or cash or settlement discount. What is trade discount basically? Trade discount is a discount that is given by a supplier to the customer at the point of sale. At the point of sale so customer walks into the shop and they selected some products and they asked the list price about the product so supplier said this is the list price and then they can negotiate and after the negotiation or some bargaining the supplier have given some percentage of discount how basically it look like for example the list price of the product is for example hundred dollars then they negotiated and supplier given a trade discount just to confirm the sale uh, let's suppose at five percent so mean there will be a discount of five percent so the actual amount payable by the customer will be 95 dollars and supplier then will issue an invoice or cash receipt for 95 dollars this is what we call trade discount then cash or set okay remember that trade discount can be given for the cash transaction or also as for credit transaction. But when we talk about cash or settlement discount, this will only and only be given to the credit customers. For example, customer A walks into the shop in, of customer B, of, of supplier B, and he asks the shopkeeper about the particular price of the product then he might receive some trade discount and then they decided a credit period of 15 days. So we can tell to the customer that okay you can buy the good today but you have to pay within 15 days. Additionally just to motivate the customer for early payment customer B can offer to customer A that alright you have to pay within 15 days let's suppose you have to pay that $95 within 15 days or after 15 days but if you pay before 15 days let's suppose in 8 days or 9 days or 10 days I will give you additional settlement discount or cash discount of 10% so mean the invoice I am giving you now is for $95 and if you are paying me within 15 days or before the deadline so you will get additional discount of 10% which will become 9.5 five dollars so if you are making payment within 15 days then you have to pay me 85.5 dollars but if you are paying me after 15 days then you have to pay normal invoice amount which is 95 dollars so just so just to motivate our customer for the early settlement uh, supplier sometime to their credit customers they also give early payment discounts settlement discount or cash discounts remember cash or settlement discounts will only and only be given to the 
credit customers. So I hope you are clear with all these type of in incentives. Obviously the working of discounts are very important. Now let's practice some questions that how basically discounts work. All right, so here's an example for discount. G Spice trades widely in her district. In particular, she has three suppliers, A, B, and C. Uh, these are the terms and conditions. Then one by one, we will look into that. In January 2007, G makes purchases of goods worth the following amounts before discounts have been deducted. Okay, so from in requirement A, from S, she bought $400 of goods. What we have to calculate? Calculate how much G has received as discounts in January, how much were trade and cash discounts for the whole month. Okay, so from Scary, the purchases amount was $400. Now let's look into the terms and condition. A, S is in the same business as G and offer 5% trade discount. So here she will receive a trade discount of 5%. So how we can do 400 into 5%. So here the trade discount will be 20. How much she has to pay after the discount 400 minus 20. So 380. So from S, let's take a note here from S she received a trade discount of how much? $20. Okay. Then from B, she purchased $700 of good. So B, what are the terms and conditions? B offers a trade discount of 7% on amount in excess of $100. That is the trade discount does not apply for the first 100. So if she is buying less than 100 no trade discount and all the amount over and above the hundred dollar she will receive a trade discount of seven percent so how much she purchased she purchased goods of 700 for the first hundred she will not receive a discount and for the remaining amount she can get so 700 minus 100 so remaining amount is 600 over 600 she will receive a discount of 7%. So how much will be the amount of discount? 42 on $600 amount. And how much she has to pay at the end? 700 minus 42, the amount payable will be $658. So from P, she again receive a trade discount of $42. Okay, then after that from S, $350 was on cash, she paid immediately and $700 to be paid on 14th January 2007 for goods purchased on 3rd January 2007. So she bought goods on 3rd January 2007. Let's estimate the days. So 3rd January 2007. And she actually paid it on 14 January 2007. Okay, it's a date. Let me change the format. <clears throat> Short date. Okay. So how many days difference are there? 3rd January she bought it and 14 January she settled the amount. So 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 12, 13, 14. So almost 9, 10, 11, 12. After 12 days of purchase, she settled the amount. All right. Why this information is important? Let's see. What are the terms and condition? S offers a 10% cash discount for immediate payment or a 5% cash discount for all items paid within 30 days. So no trade discount have been given. First of all, she bought or she paid immediately $350 cash and Sporty offers a 10% cash discount for immediate payment. So on this cash payment of $350, she will receive a discount of 10%. This is what a cash discount. And uh, after this, so out of $350 minus 35, 
so actually the cash he need to pay is 315 dollar for the goods he bought for 350 and for the remaining 700 dollars there is an additional cash discount of 5% for all the items paid within 30 days of purchase. So she settled all the payments within 12 days. So she is eligible for this discount, additional discount of 5%. So 700 into 5%. This will be $35. Again, this is a cash discount. And for 700, then she need to pay for the goods of 700. She need to pay $660. $5. So from the last one from S, she only receive a cash discount and how much cash discount she receive on immediate payment $35 and on the later payment within 30 days which she settled in 12 days $35. So total cash discount she received is $70 and how much trade discount she received from S. $20 from P $42 how much is the total discount let's total the trade discount here as well so total trade discount for the month of January she received is $62 and cash discount is $70 so the total discount both trade and cash 62 plus 70 so total discount she received is for $132. This is the way how we can do accounting for trade discounts and cash discounts. One more question is here about the discounts calculation. P purchases goods with a list price of $22,000. The supplier offers a 10% trade discount and a 2.5% cash discount for payment within 20 days. A. Calculate the amount P will have to pay if it delays longer than 20 days before paying. Okay, so if she is paying a normal one, so A. So first of all, the list price is $22,000 and she received a trade discount of 10%. So 2200 minus 10%. So net purchases are 19800 So if she is paying after the 20 days, so she will not be receiving any cash discount. So the total payment she is supposed to make is 19,800. If she is paying after 20 days. B. Calculate the amount, amount the company will pay if it pays within 20 days. So list price will be same 22,000. Trade discount will be same 22,000 into 10%. And the net purchases will be this much 19,800. Now, if she is paying within 20 days, then she will be eligible for an additional discount of 2.5%. So, 19,800 into 2.5%, this will be 495. So, 19,800 minus 495. Now, if she is paying within 20 days, she will be further eligible for cash discount and now she only has to pay 19,305 dollars.